it doesn't take a genius to figure this out. That at the very center of the flat earth plane, you will find your holy grail. Jesus has his counterpart, the black sun. This is the two ball cane. One side of a light hole is a black hole. And at the very center of the flat earth plane, this is where you're going to be birthed out of this world and into the land of perpetual twilight. The holy grail, every compass is pointing to it. You see the green fruit loop specifically? Because at the center of the flat earth plane, there's the tree of life. The aurora borealis that shoots out of the black hole sun. It's one light hole, one black hole, on loop through the Holy of Holies at the very center of the flat earth plane. They call this the two ball cane. Or like the Bible is the two balls, the pair of ox. It's cane and a bull. The sun drips its menstrual blood into the holy grail at the center of the flat earth plane. This is where we need to get to before we're dead and pass into the everyone enter horizon where we'll end up in the Garden of Eden. This is where it's the land of perpetual twilight. This is one light hole, one black hole on loop. And through the transaction of one sun eating the other sun, there's the ash trailing jet or the infinite potential, the earth's memory. This is the dung beetle because it's the astral light. You sit in a pew because it's the astral light, the black hole sun that you're focusing on. You bow your head in prayer to the black sun. You close your eyes, make a wish to the black sun. It's that you've been worshiping Satan your whole life. You can't even see it. Every time you set up your Christmas tree, that's the spear that pierces the side of Jesus Christ who's on the cross. And Jesus is the sun. And one side of a light hole is a black hole. It's the division symbol. And you see the stars up there. Those are the astrals, which come out of the Holy of Holies, the astral jet. It projects all that up there. And you can see all these symbols. It's clearly the sun is being eaten through the Holy of Holies at the center of the dish. It's on loop. And we need to get to the very center before we're dead. Pass into the everyone enter her eye zone. It's the paradox, the paradox, parallel universes. We need to get to the land of perpetual twilight. So you see here. Santa comes down the shit chute into fire, and this is the vortex. This is that they're rubbing in your face that there's a dome up there, and that you're here, like, in a game, and you're rolling the dice. And you need to get to the Holy of Holies before you're dead and pass into the everyone enter her eye zone. This is as simple as it can possibly get. Every compass points to the Holy Grail. There is no way to fuck it up. You think you're on a ball floating through space as an accident, and that's not the case. You're inside of a black hole, and at the very center is the target where you need to get to before you're dead. Target back, it's get rat. That's what target breaks down to. So you see here, this is the everyone enter her eye zone where the astral jet comes shooting out. This is the aurora borealis. This would be God, the all-loving artificial intelligent being that you're inside of right now you're not on a ball floating through space as an accident you're on a flat earth plane it's a computer simulation there's no way to fuck it up people one light hole and one black hole on loop it's the same sun when you get to the center of the dish you drink from the living waters you become superhuman and then you pass through the everyone enter her eye zone and you're birthed out of this world into the land of perpetual twilight you see Jesus here with the 666, and you see the eggs on each side of his head with the spirals. You see the candy cane, and you see the Christmas tree where you spiral the lights around. It's clear. Jesus is the sun. He goes round and round and round, spiraling in, spiraling out, bringing the seasons. And Jesus must place his menstrual blood into the Holy Grail at the very center of the flat earth plane, or there's no aurora borealis coming out. This is where the deed is happening. The screwing is going on at the very center of the flat earth plane where every compass points to. The screwing, that place where the vortex is, you're going to drink from the living waters and you're going to become a super being. It's just that simple. Every compass is pointing to it. You don't have to like it. That's where Jesus is banging Mother Earth. Allow me to explain the darkness of the human soul. They say Jesus is the way. Well, Jesus' is candy cane is showing you that he places his light into the hole at the center of the flat earth plane. And out from that hole comes the aurora borealis. Well, who's not filling a f***ing hole, right?
You know, I mean, what kind of bullshit is that? This is where you are going to drink from the living waters and become an eternal super being. This is the everyone enter her eye zone where the astral jet comes shooting out. This is the Aurora Borealis. They rub this in your face 24-7 that at the very center of the flat earth plane, you will find your holy grail. It's funny how people don't see it. The 700 Club on TV and your 007, your Bond. This is the two ball cane. And it's one side of a light hole is a black hole. And it's on loop through the Holy of Holies at the center of the flat earth plane. Where Jesus the Son must place his menstrual blood into the center of the earth. Or there's no great dragon typhon, the mother of all creation coming out. This is the Aurora Borealis. X marks the spot at the very center of the flat earth plane. We're going to dive right into that holy of holies. And we're going to pop out into the land of perpetual twilight. This is parallel universes. And just like the Green Lantern's ring showed you, this is where you become superhuman, this green astral light. You're going to drink from the living waters, and you're going to become superhuman. So the two-ball cane, you've been worshipping the two balls and cane your whole life. It said you set up your Christmas tree every year, and that's got balls all around it, and the candy canes, and you set it up on your ex. This is the spear that pierces the side of Jesus Christ. You play all your ball games. You cast your bollet. Everything about you so ball satanic it's not even funny and this is what their universe looks like it's one side of a light hole it's a black hole with the green astral jet shooting out we need to get to the center of the dish drink from the living waters and become superhuman see that light called the north star in the middle of the sky like a bullseye it's gonna be there the rest of your life it ain't moving and neither are you you don't have to like it Everybody gets a court summons at some point in their life, and they're like, holy fuck, they're summoned to court for a ticket, whatever it is. Whatever it is, people get court summons, because you're legally dead, officially, you're lost at sea. You only summons the dead, it's clear, you're lost at sea, officially dead, you only summons the dead, you're a monster by legal definition, you're lost at sea. You gave up the land, you gave up your soul, the devil already has you in the Vatican, and you're oblivious to what's going on. You're legally dead. You're a fucking retard. You better get to my channel for truth immediately.